What's going on guys? Play by Play Gaming here back with another Epic 7 video. Today we're doing a couple of beginner progression tips, mainly the weekly refresh, how to get the most out of a new player account. So this is targeting specifically new players. So if you are brand new to the game, welcome. Epic 7 is a great game and I guarantee you're gonna enjoy it. I did wanna cover some starting tips to make sure that you get off on the right foot. So here we go. So when you start off the week, it's really, really important that you follow these things in order to maximize your progression. So I'm gonna start off with the sanctuary. So when I log in, the very first thing that I like to do is kind of go into the sanctuary here. Now again, if you're a new player, you might not have everything unlocked, but usually you have uh, your heart of Orbis here that you can kind of click on and then uh, receive your reward. So you'll go in there and then pick up your, your gold and your crystals. Another thing that I like to do is actually, uh, not really farm, but complete these. So you get an achievement for completing a uh, doggo here from, the, from this little steeple thing. So you get an achievement for the Mega Phantasm. And then what I like to do uh, is I just summon one of these penguins and then you also get an achievement for the penguin and then I just put in another doggo for those. So that's pretty much what I do. Uh, you don't have to uh, summon these, but you can if you want. It does help in the later game when you're trying to uh, kind of level up some of your heroes, but it's not mandatory. I just put them in there, that's my routine. One more thing that I like to do on the beginning of the week is actually uh, pick up this Molgora. So, I like to put this on Sunday so that way on Monday it's ready to go and you also get an achievement for the week uh, for getting this Molagora. And uh, these Molagora actually help you level up your heroes, uh, their skills specifically, so it's it's actually really, really helpful to, uh, to put those in there. Next up we got your Alchemist Steeple. So in here you do have your charms and you can actually farm charms to upgrade your equipment um, every week so unfortunately uh, you know I wish this was like every day you could do this but unfortunately you can do this only every week but you can uh, craft uh, accessory charms and equipment charms from gear that you get from farming hunts so all you do is you kind of put in all your your gear here any gear that you don't need and your main goal is to try to get to this epic line right here so let's try to do one real quick all right here we go so we got our equipment in there already we got it to epic these are just trash gear that i don't need at all so we're going to go ahead and craft this and then we should get some accessories from here some accessory charms so we got an epic and a and three greater so these are random i think you can get up to five um in total uh, but uh sometimes i get four of these sometimes i get two epics i, I haven't really seen a pattern but you can do the same thing for your regular equipment charms and you're really i would definitely recommend that you complete those at least every week just to maximize your progression as far as your gear goes next up we got uh, the little dog here so this is something you can do every day and uh, if you don't have your pets already up but your dog here in the lobby does give you uh, random rewards i like to just kind of click on him every day it's just kind of passive right something passive that you can do all right, moving on, we got the shop. So within the shop, you can buy some free items that a lot of people, uh, when they're first starting off, might overlook. So one of the main things that I like to pick up for sure every week is gonna be this Molagora. So as I mentioned, you have Molagora seeds and then Molagora. So uh, you plant the seeds in the steeple and then you get one of these guys. Again, these help you level up the skills of your heroes so you're, you can do this once a week uh, i like to buy the molgora it, depending on the the how many fragments i have i usually have six i don't i skip this one i don't buy anything else except for the equipment conversion selection chest just because once you get to the gear grind uh, you're going to want to have a lot of these so you can select the type of main stat that you want everything else i do not touch at all uh, once i get enough of these gold transmit stones i always buy galaxy bookmarks as you can tell right there uh, moving on i also like to pick up 
energy. So as you can see, I don't have any energy. So I pick up this energy here. It's this energy from the friendship you can get every single day. So you can pick this up as well as these flags. Ancient coins, uh, I actually don't buy these bug charms anymore. So these bug charms, you need them to get into the hell raid. Uh, once you get to the hell raid, you might pick these up, uh, depending if you wanna do a 100% clear, you can do that now. But I actually don't, you get enough for just doing the regular raid, uh, you know, every week. Next up, we get the Mulgora seed. So here's another Mulgora that you can pick up. I always buy this as well as I pick up all this energy here. It's a free 120 energy that you can use for farming, hunts, whatever you want. Uh, everything else I do not buy with conquest points. Conquest points, you'll get them from doing arena. So it's just another currency that you get uh, from doing your uh, arena, your, your, I guess your weekly arena reward. So here we go. Next up, of course, is picking up my arena reward. So we'll go into arena. As you can see, I'm a little level bronze player here. Uh, we'll go into arena. After each week is done, on Monday, you get your rewards for that week. As you can see here, um, I'm in challenger, nothing too crazy, uh, but I'm gonna pick up my rewards here. Now you can select either 610 sky stones from, from my tier. You can either select sky stones or mystic metals. So I never get these at all, not worth at all. However, it does cost about 200 sky stones to get 50 of these. So, I mean, it's almost there, but not really. I always get the sky stones just because you can use sky stones for so many things uh, within the shop. You can use it on epic passes, things like that. Next up, after getting my currency, I like to do the NPC challenges. So your NPC challenges, uh, if you can do them on hell mode, that's gonna be the best bang for your buck, of course. You get three sky stones, five conquest points for each NPC challenge that you do. So that's not too bad. Uh, if you do, I think normal, you get maybe two or one or two or something like that. I haven't, I haven't looked at normal in a really long time, but uh, yeah, you get two. So, I mean, it's, it's not too bad if you can't do hell. Um, but I just kind of go in every, uh, pretty much every day just to check these. If I get that little red circle, I go in and do them. It's free crystals as a free to play player like me. You can see I have 95,760 sky stones. Um, that is a lot. And I have so much because I am really, really stingy with how I spend my uh, sky stones. So another thing that I like to do is kind of go into that secret shop guy right there and uh, check to see if he has anything good, uh, mainly bookmarks. So I'll kind of use uh, a few sky stones to refresh the shop. Sometimes if I need bookmarks, you can farm bookmarks from here. Um, and then if, if I want bookmarks, I'll go in and do that. Next up, I'll go into the guild. That's the next priority that you should have is making sure that you're in a guild that is at least somewhat active. Go in and pick up your glory crest from there. I go in and pick up my daily reward. You can get that every single day. Uh, the thing that you can only do uh, once a week though is actually buy items from the member shop. So every week you get another Mulligora seed. So that's already two. Uh, as I mentioned before, so we'll go in and pick this up. It does cost 250 glory crest here, or brave crests. And the way that you can get those brave crests is to actually uh, aid your fellow guild members by sending them uh, some of these hunt materials. So I like to send whatever I have. So as you can see there, I got 30 for sending those. Um, usually I only request uh, these mana drake claws, but you can go in here and you can request whatever, pretty much whatever you want. However, the, I would say the, the request aid that has the most or the least amount of value that everyone has, is gonna be your hunt materials. Usually it's the golem ones or the mana drake ones. And I only use those to give back to the other people. And then that's how you kind of cycle through those and kind of farm these uh, brave crests. 
and you're gonna get those over time, so uh, don't worry about it. I also like to donate uh, proof of courage to make sure I get some of these ribbons. Those ribbons are really, really important uh, because from the member shop with ribbons, you can actually buy transmit stones. So uh, these reset once a month. So make sure you pick those up. You can also buy uh, proof of valor, which is another artifact, which is really, really good. Uh, I also like to buy these catalyst chests. I know you can farm for these, but uh, I mean, I have a lot of coins and look, you see, you can actually get an epic catalyst to drop from these catalyst chests. So it's, it's definitely, definitely worth um, everything out of that. I mean, it's, it's fine. I also like to get this equipment conversion gem chest. Like I mentioned before, uh, this one is random. I think both of them are random. So I really, to me, it doesn't matter whatever I get. Uh, I got a help one there and then I pick this one up. It's a crit chance. So whatever, right? Uh, those just go to the pile. These are random. You can get something good for your gear. And again, this is gonna be used for your gear once you get la there later on. Um, I do like to buy this Labyrinth Compass, especially as a new player. It definitely helps you progress fast through, through Hell Raid, uh, just because you get uh, more chances to go into your regular raid and helps you grab that Hunt Charm faster and then get into Hell Raid faster. So. It definitely, definitely helps. Next up is the pet house. Okay, so the pet house, this one, you do get a summon here. Um, if you've seen any of my videos on pet summoning, it's it's not the best, okay? Um, it's just one of those things that you can kind of do for fun, but uh, what I like to do is that every week, I'll go into the pet shop here and max out on the normal food. I pick up all three, and then I also pick up this toy. And then the food you can use to level up your pets and then the toy you can use to improve their um, like their affinity or whatever and the affinity just helps them level up and give you a, i think it gives you a higher percentage so i mean you don't need to do it if you don't have the transmit stones but it definitely helps uh, next up i like to go in here into the reputation to make sure that i have everything cleared so if you check here Everything that I've done so far that I've gotten achievements for, it's it's in the reputation area. So you get a galaxy bookmark and use those to summon. Uh, you get some more sky stones here, uh, raising that Mulligar. So you, you do get a bunch of items for doing those things. I, what I still have to do is I have to do five adventure, one spirit altar, and then I have to do arena, uh, complete a hunt. And, and then that's pretty much it. That's gonna be my kind of daily uh, like daily items that I need to do. And um, that's pretty much every day. I mean, uh, like you just kind of go in there, do the minimum amount of items, uh, whatever you need to do to get those uh, currency, you get sky stones, you get a bunch of stuff for free. So it's actually pretty good. Uh, one last thing that I do want to mention as a free to play player that helps out a bunch and a new player, I, Right now, when I first started, I didn't know about this, the banner, okay? So every month, I, I would say every 25, 27 days, something like that, uh, they put out, Epic Seven has a banner. And so within this like side story banner thing or whatever, uh, you actually get uh, energy, you get bookmarks, you get a bunch of free stuff just by completing missions that you normally do during the day. So uh, here we got, complete adventure five times, hunt three times, and then promote a hero. So you actually get a bunch of energy just by doing those things. And you pretty much already do that, right? Uh, just by doing the dailies. Once you do that, you can uh, play the little mini game that they have here. Any of these spots that you land, now of course, all these banners are a little bit different, but it's kind of similar. Uh, but you roll the dice, and each little thing that you land on gives you uh, energy, you get uh, artifact charms, gold, bunch of stuff here. But after you do them a certain amount of times, uh, so for example, I've done this 15 times, after 20 you get uh, a greater artifact charm, after 30 you get a Molagora, and then after 40 times you get a gold transmit stone. And so these are really, really useful for brand new players, especially because they give you so much energy. And energy, as you'll see when you're first starting off, is abundant. Uh, once you do start playing the game and kind of trying to level up heroes and grinding through it, um, you're gonna want a lot of energy. So it is one of those items that, uh, I guess when you get towards the late game, 
it's a little bit difficult to get if you're a free to play player but if not you'll have plenty of energy to get what you need done all right next up we got the hall of trials so this i already unfortunately claimed it however i do want to show you once this practice battle has finished uh, so in six days once this is done i'll do real battle the delivery battle and then you'll get placed in the rank eventually once that's done you'll actually get some rewards which is also really really nice that you can't forget to check so this was today's uh, this was the refresh I'll, I'll show that to you here real quick i already claimed it but i placed within the 20 percent in the world <laughs> or in the world of epic 7 and i got four of my efforts i got 60 of these uh, wisdom gaze thingies whatever they're called and a million gold that's really really good that's one million gold that you get just from placing in there yeah here you go all right so here's your ranking here's the amount of gold that you can get and the amount of these wisdom gates or so, uh, i placed within the top 10 to 30 percent here it is you, this is your result so and this i think i got like an a or a plus maybe i was an s I, I, we can check here all right so where are we at so yeah i, I think i got like here like a a plus or something like that so nothing too crazy but hey Free gold is free gold. One of those things that you can check out. All right, guys, that's gonna be the video. Let me know if you saw anything maybe that I missed, that I left out. Uh, I try to include uh, all of the daily items that I like to do just to ensure that I get everything done. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, I, I don't like missing things. Oh, you know what? I did miss two items, so here we go. Abyss, okay. So if you are able to do this, if you're not able to do this, uh, I just go in and purify it because I'm 100% done. But if you're not, you should definitely try to do a this. If you've hit a stage where you can't progress anymore, make sure you go in and purify every single day. You do get a lot of gold and you get a lot of stigma. Next up, we got your labyrinth. And this one, I did cover this in uh, my other video on farming sky stones and bookmarks. So what I like to do is kind of go in here. I'll go into the shop. So I'll, I'll go into uh, the first battle here and I'll go into the hoot shop. He also is a huge benefit for brand new players. So if you aren't Solid already one. using him, Burn. we'll let Raz do his thing here. So if you aren't already using Hooch's shop, and going in here every day. So uh, I wouldn't really categorize him as a weekly reset. He's more of an everyday thing, but he gives you charms, artifact charms, and you use those uh, to level up your equipment. So I always buy these. I don't really care how much uh, they cost. I buy them anyway, just because of how difficult they are to get. Uh, once I buy everything from him, and, and again, he gives you galaxy bookmarks as well, and you can use those to summon. I just peace out of there, right? piece uh, the good thing about that is it doesn't waste any of your labyrinth tokens so uh, just kind of keep that in mind uh, everything else uh, auto tower also resets so uh, once a month you can go in there and do that and get a bunch of rewards but all right for sure this time that's the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel it definitely helps the channel grow and reach more people like you if you'd like to see any more beginner tips let me know in the comment section below what you'd like to see. I'm thinking about making this a series, maybe part two, like farming tips or something like that. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.